hi and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here please subscribe leave a like and a comment if you find the video useful in today's video i'm going to show you how to detect motion using a pir motion sensor with an stm32 microcontroller my name is ali and you are watching circuit gator hq how the sensor works is that inside of the module there's a pyroelectric uh, sensor that detects changes in infrared radiation uh, this white plastic dome thing covering the sensor is actually called a fresnel lens so what it does is that it focuses infrared signals directly to the sensor inside of the casing the sensor module also has two adjustable potentiometers one is a sensitivity potentiometer that is used to adjust the sensing distance and the other one is a time delay potentiometer that adjusts how long the input remains high after motion has been detected. To start coding, open up STM32 Cube IDE and create a new STM32 project. Then go to board selector and then under part number, type in the part number of the microcontroller that you're using. Then click on the microcontroller and then click on next. Then for the project name, you can just call it PIR and then click on finish. We can start on a blank slate. So go to pinout and then click on clear pinout click on yes then go to clock configuration and just make sure that your microcontroller is running at its maximum frequency it is going to be 84 megahertz for my microcontroller then go back to pinout and configuration go to system core and then under system click on debug and then click on zero wire then go to rcc and then under the high speed clock just click on crystal ceramic resonator the sensor doesn't output analog values, it just outputs digital values. So either a one or a zero, depending on when a motion has been detected or not. So we just need to take one of the digital pins and initialize them as a digital input. So I'm going to use pin PA8 and then I'm going to initialize it as a GPIO input. To see when motion has been detected or not, we can just write the simple script to output a message that lets us know that motion has been detected and we can transmit this message via USAT. If you don't know what USAT is, I have a video on my channel that you can check out where I explain everything that has to do with UART, how to transmit data and how to receive data between your microcontroller and a computer. So to initialize UART, go to connectivity, go to UART 2, under mode, click asynchronous. And then when it comes to the parameter settings, we don't need to change anything. Just take note of the baud rate. Then click on Ctrl and S to save, click on Yes to generate code and then Yes to switch to the new perspective. In the main C file, go to private include and then here under user code begin include, we only just need to include the string.h header file. So just say hashtag include string.h and scroll down to where it says private variables and then here under user code begin pv, we're going to initialize a few variables. The first variable we need is the one that is going to store the digital output of the sensor. So just say int and then say motion. Then we need to create a variable that is going to hold the message we're going to transmit when motion has been detected. So just say character and then say message one. And then we're not going to specify how many bytes it has. Just put an equal sign and then we can just say motion detected. And then backward slash r backward slash n so that we can start typing on a new line we can just copy this one paste it here we can call this one message 2 and then this one i'm just going to make it blank so that nothing gets outputted when there's no motion and then we can see uh, motion being detected being printed out when there's actual motion being detected then we can scroll down to the main while loop and then here under user code begin 3 just say motion is equals to hal underscore gpio underscore read and then the pin that we're going to read is the pin that we initialized as our GPIO input. So that was port A, GPIO A, and then it was pin 8. So pin underscore 8. So here we're basically just reading the value from the sensor and we're storing it inside of this motion variable. Then we can just create an if statement. So just say if the value inside the motion variable is equals to 1 we need to print out a message saying that motion has been detected so to print out just say how underscore you add underscore transmit and then you see we have different options for how we can transmit our data we're going to use the normal one for this video so double click on the first one double click on you add two and then when it comes to the data that we're going to transmit it's going to be message one we need to pass this variable so i'm going to say u int 8 underscore t and then i'm going to point to the address of the variable and then 
for the size we're just going to say size of the variable so message one and then for the timeout we can just say hal underscore maximum delay then we can say else if and then if motion is equals to zero meaning no motion is being detected we want to print the second message which is basically nothing then so we're going to copy and paste this line of code and then here we're going to change this to message two and then change this one to message two as well the code is very simple and it's very straightforward you can of course implement your own logic depending on what you want to happen when motion has been detected you can put an alarm or you can put a bunch of leds to turn lights on and off if motion has been detected you can pretty much just customize it to your own liking when you're done just click on the hammer to build the code to see if there are no errors then when it says finish building with zero errors and zero warnings you just need to take your microcontroller and then connect it to your laptop or pc then click on the play button to upload the code to the microcontroller go to the debugger and then here click on st link click on scan then click on apply and then click on ok when the code has been uploaded we can now open our serial terminal app I'm going to be using party for this video so now we need to make sure that our com port is correct and our speed matches the port rate when we were initializing our serial communication mine was 115200 so this is going to remain unchanged and then to check the com port i'm just going to go to device manager then go to ports and then i see here that under st microelectronics my microcontroller is connected to com port 10 so close this and then here just changes to comport 10 and then just click on open great when the code is running we see that uh, currently nothing is being printed on our serial terminal app and if i just move my hand in front of the sensor we see our message motion detected being printed out so if i put my hand again motion detected so every time i move in front of the sensor uh, there's going to be a brief period of time where the message that motion has been detected is being printed of course remember that you can use uh, one of the potentiometers to adjust how long it takes for the motion detected message to be printed on the serial terminal app thank you so much for watching the video if you found the video helpful please subscribe please leave a like and leave a comment to let me know if you have any questions or any feedback and if you'd like to help the channel grow to make more videos like this uh, please check out the paypal donations link in the description of the video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next upload